Okay guys, what's up? So, this is one of the surprises I mentioned in the last video. I ordered a TVS Vendetta. Um, it is the V1 because it's got the original motors on there. But, however, it was almost $200 off, I think. So, I thought, why not? Um, it is already a little broken. I may or may not have hit a tree going... I, I, I misjudged. I'm used to my Alien where the antennas are only about that tall ish and they kind of bend over anyway so I can go under trees and kind of swing it under whereas this because they're in straws and they're a lot taller I misjudged um, this thing how do I describe it I got it for cheaper and I, I, I am extremely happy with it and I feel had I bought it Sorry, charging a battery there. Um, I feel had I bought it for let me just un unplug that. Had I bought it for five hundred, I would still be extremely happy with it. Um, I'm not going to show y'all how to put the caps on and all that, and how to put the arms on there, and how to put the the receiver. I did an X4R because it's what I had lying around as a spare part. Um, I'm not going to take it out and show y'all how to put beta flight and all that crap on there. And I'm going to let somebody else on that's done it on YouTube take, take that. Um, however, be warned, the LED light, when you first get it, is programmed to your VTX channel. And I believe the V2 as well is like that, but the V2 is a bit more updated. This thing is now, I don't know, maybe a year or two old. So, Clean Flight, which w was on it, was outdated, so I could not do anything with it. However, um, Beta Flight, they do support it through the TBS um, desktop application. And I updated it to Beta Flight 3.0, but you got to make sure that it's for the Vendetta version of it. Otherwise, you'll have problems. But when you do that, this LED light quits working. And I don't know if that's because it's not programmed with it, but I found a uh, Betaflight CLI dump for the LED that you can change it to whatever color you want. I set mine to green for now because I have green props on there. There's a ton of green vendettas. Yes, I know it's boring, but it's what I have. I may do a blue one later. I kind of wanted to do an orange one as well, but only thing is an orange LED is very hard to get right like my little RGB desk real quick that is orange and that is as orange as it gets and it's not even really that orange like that's clearly almost green that is still kind of yellowish that's about as orange as it gets and that's just red um, and then blue, of course, is blue, and green is green. There's all colors in between. Um, but I, I leave it on white for these videos. I actually have an LED that's fading back there. Um, I'll show you really quick what does come in the box. Um, well, actually, I'll mention what comes in the box, I guess. So, you do get this TBS Triumph antenna with it, which is, you know, yeah, cool. Um, it is RPSMA, however, not SMA. Um, you get, I think it's three little straps and a big strap, and then you get some uh, GoPro mounts that stick to this up here. I have a GoPro session, not a GoPro, so I unfortunately cannot use those. I'm sure I can make one, though. Um, you do get two straws, however, I recommend keeping one as a spare if you do like me and wreck one. Um, cut your straw in half, um, even an X4R with its extremely long antennas is more than enough to, one, half a straw is more than enough. You get like these little rubber grommets that the straws go into so that can kind of bend a little bit I guess is the point of that. You get two full sets of props, not as in not like a set as in one of each but like two full sets um, meaning a set as I, I 
I call a set when you get all four, two, two of each way. You get two of those, two sets. Um, you get the Vendetta, of course, which comes as just this without the antennas, without the strap. It's literally just the body with everything in it. No arms attached or anything. Uh, the motors come without the prop nuts on there and the, all the props are just kind of thrown in the box. I did get two extra arms. However, um, they did tell me that I happened to be one of the few that got the discounted quote-unquote upgraded version of it. Um, that does not mean that when you order it, you will get two arms because you may have gotten a discounted, unupgraded version of it. Um, I just happened to be a, a lucky one and got got it, the upgraded version. Um, I do like the stock PIDs on here. Um, that's what I've left it as, the Betaflight Vendetta standard. You will see that it's a bit bigger wingspan than my Alien. Um, it's a 240 millimeter instead of a 220, so it's going to be 220 is probably about there ish. So, probably like the inside of the arms, and then probably not as long. Like, this thing's much longer lengthwise than my Alien. Um, however, because of that, here is a 13. You'll notice I only have one strap on here. That's because this thing's. I guess meant for long range is what they were aiming for for this big deck back here. That's a 1300 millimeter, milli, milliamp hour battery. Okay, that's that fits across both pads with one strap, so it's not going anywhere. Like these pads are good pads. I can lay it down. I don't recommend it, but I can. Um, so you could easily put like if you scoot this back and you are willing to have it hang over a little bit like when I say hang over I mean like about that much not much at all you could probably easily put maybe a 2000 on here and it would be fine um, you may have to stand it up but it'd be fine so if that's what I do with one strap and it's more than enough um, <sighs> getting the receiver in there is kind of it's, it's not hard, but it's finicky. Bind it before you get it in there. I warn you now. Um, carrying this thing compared to my alien is so nice. Um, I don't know. There's something about just fully mold, molded carbon fiber. I've not really crashed it yet at all. Um, I've landed it kind of hard, but I've not crashed it. I'm not even broken a prop on it yet. It's got maybe 12 flights on it. Um... The motors are a bit dinky, I guess is the word for them. Um, they're Cobra 2204 2300. They're good motors, but for a pushing six to 700 gram quad, you can tell, especially in the higher end of throttle, that there's not a whole lot of torque to them or not higher in throttle lower in throttle there's not a whole lot of torque you're having to kind of like bounce it i guess um modulate your throttle which i can do but it's yeah it's different compared to my alien which is running mr steel motors and that lower power throttle i can just leave it and it, it'll it'll sit there and it'll hover i'll have to control it you know with like roll and pitch but it, it, it'll hover um i do know the bind this if you put your receiver in and you power on and you're like, the hell, it's not binding, look through your FPV goggles. I don't know what channel it comes on, but just look through it. And it's going to say, looking for PPM. You're going to want to hit this center button in here on the Core PNP 50 Pro. or I, I don't know if it's a 50 Pro. I just know it's, a, it's one of the OSDs for TBS because this is all TBS parts up in here, um, mostly. But you're going to hit the center button and it'll say, I think it says looking for Spectrum Satellite next, uh, 1048. You'll hit it again. It says 2048 Spectrum Satellite. And you'll hit it again. It says SBUS. That's if you're using SBUS. I have a Tyrannus. So, yeah. Um, the Power Cube. Love it. Um, that's all I'm going to say on it. Um... The LEDs, like I said, I can change whatever color I want. 
I can make it change to arm status and not arm, battery status. I left it on one single color because I really don't care. I don't see it while I'm flying, so whatevs. Um, what else? It flies really well, like I said, for stock PIDs. Um, it compares to my Alien in the roll department. It's a bit slower in the pitch department when I'm in low throttle. When I'm in high throttle, it's a bit faster than my Alien. So it's kind of, I, I don't know if it has like a diverse PID system, but it like, if I'm in low throttle on my pitch, it's like, which is like my Alien. If I'm in a high throttle, it's like, it, like it, it tends to jump almost. It doesn't really like go smoothly. Um, overall, I do like it. The only the the OSD in here is amazing. You can customize everything from the OSD. You don't even have to touch it into a computer. Like everything from the OSD, I love it. Um, I if I knew how, I would put one on my Alien. I love the OSD that much. I would rebuild my Alien with one. The only downside to this thing, this is the original Zero Zero camera. <sighs> it's garbage. Honestly, I'll I'll be honest. I mean. I found ways to work with it, but it's really just not that good of a camera. Um, I'm gonna put an HS 1177 in there somehow, someday. But what I did is I bumped the power output to 500 um, megahertz, and because I was getting like this weird, like flashing with the camera, I don't know what it was from, but it was like it was very obvious in my my FPV camera and it was almost hard to fly because the OSD wasn't affected it was just the camera was flashing as soon as I bumped that up to 500 megahertz um, or milliwatts whatever you want to call it it went away and it's 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 flyable with this camera like don't get me wrong it's not it's not as bad as some people make it out to be compared to the Swift but it's definitely not close to the HS 1177 um, it's still a better camera. Me, the HS1177 is better than this thing by far. However, if you are tight on money and you want to get this just so that it flies, you can fly with this camera. I don't recommend it for long, but you can do it. I want to put a different lens in there actually because I feel like I'm very horse blinders with it. Um, probably like a 2.5 lens. But overall, I do love this thing. Um, not as much as my Alien, but definitely more than my X-Hover frame. And that's just because my batteries can't unlock the full potential of this frame. So until then, yeah. And this one was also kind of poorly thrown together. I'll, I'll be honest, I didn't build it to the best of my ability. I probably tore this thing down about four times to rebuild it, and it's still just, eh. And by that time, by, by like the fourth time, I was like, screw it, I'm done. I'm building this and just calling it a day. I was done. This thing, however, comes pre-built. Only thing you gotta do is just take these screws off, take that out, take the tray out, put the receiver, call it a day. Um, I do love it, however. Um, like I said, not as much as my Alien, but it is a good little, little pre-built quad. And for five hundred dollars, I fully recommend it. And for three hundred dollars, definitely get it. Definitely. And I got a brand new. That wasn't even like off of eBay used. And I'll, I'll show you all the LED real quick. This is a battery. and it just stays that color. I, I, I can change it, it'll start beeping here, so I'm gonna go and unplug it. Um, but yeah, um, I hope y'all enjoyed my little, like, I guess, look at it. I'll have some footage from it soon when I get a mount for it. Um, it's a very good little quad, and I, the V2 I've heard is even better because it has Cobra 2205 um, Champion, or 2207 maybe, I, I, I don't know. They're Cobra Champion motors, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. But it, it's lighter with better motors. So, I mean, it, it gains power basically all around. And it has the zero, the Runcam Zero 2, or not Runcam Zero 2, uh, TBS Zero 2 camera, which I believe is their HS 1177 sensor camera. Or at least I hope. Um, and it runs V1S props, not the, uh, the 5x4x3 OG props. I say OG because these are like the original 5x4x3s. Um, not that these props aren't good, but they're just kind of outdated, let's be honest. 
but overall, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I like it. I fully recommend it to a friend who's getting it. Um, he said he wants to get one with a radio and everything. That way he can fly. Um, I told him I'd give him, a, or not get a, give him, but help him pick out some batteries to get. That way it's like 700 bucks and he's done. Because um, he's going to get a QX7. That way it's only 100 bucks there. And he's going to get maybe 100 bucks worth of batteries. Which, if you get, like, a, just a general... Oh, if you can catch them on sale, you can get um, a 4S1375C tattoo, regular one, for about 25 bucks. Um, and I told him if he wanted to, he could buy my 3S batteries off me for... Um, what did I say? I think it was like 10 bucks a piece. I have four of them, or five of them. I bought, bought them for like 20-ish dollars, so basically half off. Um, I didn't put, a, put, put, uh, I didn't put my, very many flights through them, because by the time I actually started getting good, I was going to 4S for the power. So, kind of a deal. Um, overall, I know I've said this like four times. I hope y'all enjoyed. Subscribe if you want. Like the video if you want. Comment. I don't know. I'll respond if you comment, like a legitimate comment or questions. Um, like I said, I do this for fun and as a hobby to get people to get into the hobby. Thanks for watching.